All right, 4.5, prove triangles congruent by ASA and AAS. All right, a flow proof. So up to this point, we've learned um, about two column proofs, okay, and we've also learned about paragraph proofs. Generally, we're going to continue to use the two column proofs. Another type of proof is called a flow proof. A flow proof uses arrows to show the flow of a log logical argument. All right, um, I'm just gonna skip ahead to page three real quick. If you look at page three, this is a flow proof, and we'll do that um, later in this lesson, okay? All right, but before we do that, let's learn a few new postulates and theorems. Postulate 21, ASA, if two angles and an included side, now remember, included means it's in between, of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of a second triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Okay, so once again, notice that the side is in between the two congruent angles. Okay, if it looked like this. Um, let's see here. This angle and this angle, this angle and this angle. And the side was not included, it was outside the two angles. You could not use ASA for this. Okay. All right, so if angle A is congruent to angle D, angle AC is congruent to, I'm sorry, angle, side AC is congruent to DF, and angle C is congruent to angle F, then triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. All right, now, AAS. If two angles and a non-included side, this means the side is not in between the two angles. It is outside the two angles of one triangle, are congruent to two angles and the corresponding non-included side of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Okay, let me draw this out. Ah. So if angle A is congruent to angle D, angle C is congruent to angle F, and segment BC is congruent to segment EF, then triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. All right, let's go on to page two. <coughs> Can the triangles be proven congruent with the information given in the diagram? If so, state the postulate or, postulate or theorem you would use. Okay, so. Here, we have two angles, and you could also see that this angle would be congruent to this angle because these are vertical angles. But there is no AAA congruence theorem that we've learned. So there is not enough information to prove the triangles are congruent because no sides are known to be congruent. Now, over here, we have two angles, and we know that this side is congruent to itself by reflexive property. So, two pairs of angles and a non-included pair of sides are congruent. The triangles are congruent by AAS congruence. Now the third one, we have vertical angles once again. We're also given a side and another angle. The vertical angles are congruent, so two pairs of angles and their um, included sides are congruent. The triangles are congruent by the ASA congruence postulate. You can put theorem and postulate after these if you want to, but you don't have to. I know what you mean, okay? One thing I want to caution you guys with, don't confuse AAS and ASA. Um, that is a really, really common mistake. Pay attention to where the side is relative to the angles. If the angle, I'm sorry, if the side is in between the two angles, make sure you write down ASA. 
if it's non included if, if it's outside the angles make sure you write down AAS these are the these are probably the most common postulates and theorems that get confused when we do this unit okay all right I'll let you guys do the checkpoint let's go on to page three okay um, it got cut off a lot. Let me fill in some of these things real quick. That's a three. That's a four. This is the letter D. This, um, I think a, that's an E. Okay. In the diagram, angle one is congruent to angle four. So we know these two angles are congruent. Um, CF bisects angle ACE. Bisect means it cuts in half, so this angle has to be congruent to this angle. Write a flow proof to show that triangle CBF, that's this triangle, is congruent to triangle CDF. So these are the two triangles that we're trying to prove congruent. Okay, so angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. We're given this. Notice angle 1 and 2 are a linear pair. That means they are supplements of each other. Also, angle 3 and 4 are a linear pair. So they are supplements of each other. Now, the congruent supplements theorem says that if two angles are supplementary to, to the same angle or to, in this case, congruent angles, those two angles have to be congruent. So in this case, angle 2 has to be congruent to angle 3 because 1 and 4 are congruent and these two angles are supplementary to those two angles. Okay? Um, this is the, you know, they say the definition of supplementary angles, I would actually say a linear pair would be better. Okay? And this is the congruent supplements theorem. CF is congruent to itself because of reflexive property. Okay, CF bisects angle ACE. That is also given. So, angle ACF is congruent to angle ECF. That's the definition of an angle bisector. Okay? So, we have an angle, another angle, and an included side. Oh, I'm sorry, a non-included side. Okay? You know what? This is a mistake. This should say triangle. So triangle CBF is congruent to triangle CDF. AAS congruence theorem. All right. I'll let you guys try this one. Let's go on to page four. <clears throat> you and a friend are trying to find a flag hidden in the woods. Your friend is standing 75 feet away from you. When facing each other, the angle from you to the flag is 72 degrees. All right. They're nice enough to draw a picture for you. And the angle from your friend to the flag is 53 degrees. Is there enough information to locate the flag? The locations of you and your friend and the flag form a triangle. The measures of two angles and an included side of the triangle are known by the ASA congruence postulate, all triangles with these measures are congruent. So the triangle formed is unique and the flag location is given by the third vertex. So basically, this is saying that if you have this angle and you have this angle and you have the side in between, you could calculate where the flag is from that information. They don't ask you to go actually go about calculating it, they just want to know whether or not you can, whether or not it would be possible to do so, and in this case, it is. All right, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint, and that's all for today.